you're this hero formerly known as Super Ego, then what are we supposed to call you now? He looks like a big lounge lizard to me. Or how about the Crimson Creek? If you little juvenile delinquent graffiti artists know what's good for you, you'll call me Sir. You mean like Sir Cuss Clown? Yeah, or Sir Plus Cheese? No, wait a minute. I've got it. You're Sir Cumsidious! Wait for it. Yes! Another brilliant use of the sewer bath gambit by yours truly. In my regards to the format of the sanitation plant, suckers. What's going on here? You just missed it. I flushed two no good kids down that manhole. I don't miss anything, but I was wondering how you'd like it if someone dropped you down a deep dark hole. I guess we'll never know, lady, because I can fly. Nah, 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 nah. Not inside a dimensional portal, you can't. Nah, 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 nah. Boy, he's really picking up speed. Yes, this looks like a good spot. Hand me that kind of spray paint, boy. Gee, Grace, we never thought we'd see you marking up a wall. No harm done, because you two are going to be spending your next 20 weekends paying over this and all the other walls you've defaced with graffiti. That's your punishment. And this is his. So the lesson, boys, is to do unto others as they would do unto you. That may not be according to Hoyle, but this is my city, and I make the rules. You knew it down, pal? Just got in this morning, from Arcadia. Isn't that where they had the trouble with that green-headed freak? He's everywhere I go, like some kind of mystical curse. It's really my own fault. Play with fire and you're bound to get burned. You've just had too much to drink, and I can't say as I blame you. I never used to drink when I was with my old pal Barney. Since he's been gone, you might say I've kind of lost my way. This is a picture of us during the good old days. Why, that's Barney Shepard. You, you knew him? Knew him? Well, he's sitting right over there. I suspect at first that it must be some kind of cruel practical joke. After everything that's happened to me since I came to this alternate dimension, I'm ready for anything. Anything but this. Uh, Barney? Is it really you? Tommy? Tommy Haynes? It's been so long! I thought you were dead! And I was sure that you were, Barney! He's not my Barney, and I'm not his Tommy. We're just familiar echoes of two old friends from very different worlds. But some things are the same everywhere, and I know now that I've found my way again. Yo! Where's a good chiropractor when you need one? Guess I'll have to toot my own horn. Fortunately, I was wearing my helmet at the time of the crash. And it's lucky for her that she didn't try to step on my blue suede shoes. Thanks for the grace period, honeycakes. The king is ready to take you on now. Uh, but no kicking below the bell, okay? Because I've had bad luck recently with women in that area. Relax. I wouldn't dirty my hands on the likes of you. War Maker will finish you off while I see these two safely home. <laughs> sure, Grace. You just skedaddle. And I'll wait around for your Mr. War Maker to pat on my bottom. War Maker. I'd sure like to meet the goon with that name. <clears throat> Guess who? Uh-oh. First of all, you're certainly well-armed. And you're awfully big and grotesquely ugly. So you must be... Satan? You're close. I'm the guy who's gonna send you straight to hell. Uh, not the brick wall again. This is getting old. Over there. That's got to be him. Yes, his mystical aura is unmistakable. That's how I knew that he survived that firestorm back in Arcadia. Survive that one. This thing may be indestructible, King Tiger, but the man inside that mask isn't. General Blair considered Golden City the super ego of our divided nation, so that's how he'll manifest himself here. The super ego is the mostly unconscious part of the psyche that senses and restrains the ego, and is composed of the ego ideal and the conscience. As Blair's psychiatrist, there's a chance I can get through to him here and appeal to that conscience. It's courageous of you to try, Dr. Snyder, and I do believe that such examples of self-sacrifice tend to bring out the best in others. How many does this make? One for every weekend that Wench sentenced us to. Wow, I must have hit a gas main. I thought they were all turned off when these projects were condemned. There's no sign of him. Well, hey, I didn't need a building to fall on me. Huh? No! But you obviously do. Here it is, kid. The power center of my empire. Holy cow, Barney. You really are a mogul. And soon to be a mega mogul, I used my political connections to get that adjacent housing project condemned and bought the property for a song. Looks like they've started tearing it down already. What was wrong with it? Nothing, except it gave low-income losers an affordable and decent place to live. There's no money in that, but there'll be plenty rolling in from the development that replaces it, Shepherd Square. And I want my old pal in on the ground floor with me. 
as my executive vice president at a starting salary of $2 million per annum. It's a brass ring, kid. Better grab it. Gosh, Barney, I... Well, what the hell? I'm in. That's great, Tommy. I knew the minute I saw you today was my lucky... <laughs> Ground floor. General Blair! You're just in time, Sydney. I need your opinion. Is this me? Or is it just too Norse god for words? I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the man inside of you. When he first came to me for help, I told him we could take a leap of faith together. I'm here to take that leap right now. Sydney, that's just <laughs> beautiful. And you're right. <laughs> Deep down inside. I have been yearning to reclaim that lost opportunity. So let's head back to that crazy vortex and maybe a double dip this time. No, that's not what I... It looks like the intruders are headed for level 13. Better luck and load, men. This worked out better than I expected. I knew those guys were after the mask, but I never expected them to bring me back here. Sometimes to take one step forward, you have to take two steps back. Come on, Sydney. It's not like I'm asking you to skinny dip. He's crazy! Somebody sh shoot him! Really, Doctor? Is there any way to talk about your... Favorite patient? I've always had your best interest at heart, General Blair. Why else would I be here? Don't insult me, Sydney. I may be a little unbalanced, but I'm career military. You think I don't know what orders they gave you? The army never passes up a chance to acquire a new weapon. If I wasn't standing on this ledge, one of those soldiers would have obeyed the shoot to kill command already. It's funny. Last time I jumped because I'd lost hope for this world. And this time I'm doing it because I've gained it back again. No, Charlie, you don't have to do it. The world needs good men like you. You're right about the army's orders, of course, but the hell with them. You've obviously grown from this experience, enough to realize your own value and stand up to an unfeeling chain of command. So just throw the damn thing away, Charlie. You're what's important. You have the power. Don't destroy what's best about this world. Save yourself, Charlie, and let the damn thing burn. Sucker! No! Not while there's breath in my body, Sydney! Let me go, you madman! I can still get it, if you'll only let me go! I'll make you let me go! No, you won't, Sydney, and you'll never get it either. But I finally do. Which is why I'm hanging on to you for dear life. We finally took our leap of faith together, Sydney. <laughs> you might not be the best shrink around, but you sure made a believer out of me. Look! Who's that? Here goes nothing. I never moved like this before, but it helps to know where you're going. And exactly what you'll face when you get there. Take cover, everybody! He's going for a belly flop! I'd like to see that big whip shamu try this. <laughs> Look what I'm doing, Barney. Pretty crazy, huh? Even tripped the alarm before I took it up. This is the police! Come out with your hands up! We have you completely surrounded! Hold your horses, Robbie. I'll be out in a minute. Hey, Robbie, I think it's the same guy as before. Hmm, to be or not to be? Guess this answers that question, huh, Barney? More ways than one. Give yourself up! There's no other way out! I've already given myself up, Robbie. And this is the other way out. 